he's gonna hold up his hand. Just, just bite me. What? And you see the piled up bodies of about a dozen kobolds lying in that shit. Okay. No! <laughs> um, what? I'm drawing my sword. Who are you and what have you done with Ko? She continues until she falls to the ground. Her skin looks dried up and withered. Her eyes look sunken in. Alright, he's gonna pause here. <laughs> hey, Satari. She'll slowly get up from, like, kneeling by the pumpkins oh, and everything. Oh, and... oh, 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 oh. Uh, uh, what? Oh, oh. <laughs> so do I, do I need to change size? What, what's going on? Okay. <laughs> Hi, Ko. Oh, okay. No approach. So, yeah. It's a crazy day. Crazy, crazy day. As they all are. Um, You're not mad at me, are you? No. I'm really mad at the RPL. Oh. Well, that's good. Didn't, get, didn't get the message to you in time. I just... I know how much this bothers everyone last time. Satar's revving her engine while she's having this conversation, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> no, the motorcycle, yes. She's ready to leave. <laughs> now, Ko Co will hug you. Now, it's, it's alright. But you took this out as a journal. You you made sure nothing was left of this, this. Didn't it bother you? This was all a trick by the RPL to make people eat and get rid of their evidence of what they did wrong. I, I suppose. It was not your... Looks like Satari bit you. Yeah, it does. <laughs> That's right. And I'm magically delicious, apparently. <laughs> That's just what her bite's always called. <laughs> It's I always know. been that. I know. But it makes more sense right now. <laughs> Magically, everyone's being... Anyways. Oh, well, I have Kuroku on it, trying to find where they're hiding out. Satark's talking with the king to figure out a list of names of RPL members. And we'll try to figure it out. Good. Good. It needs to be stopped. I I was like this before it was a voice in my head and I don't know I don't know if I can stop it again I don't want to go back to that we'll make sure it doesn't happen at the very least I know a few new tricks and stuff we'll figure it out well it, at least wait Estonia it seemed like from what I could tell, it seems like a disease. Okay. How could that? You could disease the food. What are they? What are they up to? The restoration I cast did not work. All right, can Ko roll anything on that? Disease is pretty specific. Not really. Okay. Uh, if you are expert in medicine. I will allow you to roll it. I am not. I certainly am. I can think. What more about, about society, this. occultism, arcana? What about kobold lore? <laughs> kobold lore will let you know the a good way to cook kobold. Okay. Kobold lore always fails you. You don't even know what baby kobolds eat. I, mean, I never rolled. <laughs> <laughs> also, do you know what regular babies eat? No. So there you go. Yes, yeah, smaller babies. Oh, okay. Hammer. <laughs> You're supposed to not remember that. Alright. Alright, well, um, I guess we're waiting until Kuroku gets back and stuff, figure out what's going on. Yes. Alright. So you, supposed... you're, you're fine? You're not affected by the disease? I don't think so, but... I don't know, Ko. Should... We stay together tonight, or should I keep my distance just to uh, be safe? He's gonna hold up his hand. Just, just bite me. What? Just bite me real quick. Um. All right. <laughs> She's very confused, but okay. <laughs> That's not a very hard bite. 
He's intentionally flat-footed, so you'd hit. Oh. Um, you're, not, you're not doing attack damage. You're just, like, biting yeah. down on him. I was going to say, um, I don't have but, a uh, attack, okay. so. Ko, Ko, you do now contract, uh, lycanthropy, and you are now a weir Shatari. Okay. <laughs> In the light of the full moon, you turn into Satari. <laughs> oh, that won't be weird. No fun. Um, all right. Is what was the, is that a test? Yeah, no. He, he does perception on her to see if she like kind of has any anything happen to her. You doesn't seem like it. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah. I think you're fine. Um. Uh, all right. Is, is that normally what you ask people to bite? That I don't. That seems weird. I don't ask people to bite me now. Oh, all oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> it just kind of happens. No, you're fine. I'm just saying. I, I don't. Anyway, any. All right. Yeah, we can. We can just keep a room tonight. Oh, all right. Other than that, I think we're retiring until Kuroki gets back, right? Um, sure. We should have some time. I also know you are in disguise and all that. Well, I'm in a generalized disguise with the hat. It only lasts an hour, so I'm not... <laughs> you were able to follow him without any problem whatsoever. Uh, you were even able to talk to a few of the people who come in by from him about... Uh, like, hey, w when did these guys start showing up? And things like that. And you gain a little bit of information. Uh, it just, you know, the past couple days, and there seem to be more and more of them. They're doing really well. Their meat's delicious, isn't it? Uh, you know, I really shouldn't have already had four today. I'm going to go buy another one here in a second. Uh, you, you progress the conversation through person to person. While doing so, you do end up losing this vendor as you're talking to people. But you do get an idea of where their warehouse is supposed to be coming from, like where they are cooking and preparing the meat and then loading it into this fleet to set out to the city. So like, go to that location. Or go look for that location. Alright, give me a perception check. Yep. Uh, you are able to fit in pretty well as a common folk person, just kind of milling about. And you are able to get a good view of this surrounding warehouse that sits in, in almost smack dab in the middle of the slums district. Uh, as you continue looking around, you see there are a couple mages from the Mages Guild that come in and out. You see a cleric of something. He has a black, or not a black, but a brown robe, kind of covering up any holy symbols he may have, but you are able to tell, you get a flash of some things of his robes, and like, that that's a clergyman of some sort, you just don't know what panthe or what uh, deity. And then you do see, coming out of the back, two very, like, well-to-do people, including, uh, you actually see one of, you recognize one guy immediately as one of the king's royal guard. It's walking out. It, you know, all these things put together, just this does not add up. Something is wrong. So, you know, clandestine organization of the RPL, it, it is clicking that, okay, yeah, you have found the right location. Continuing to look around the warehouse itself and some of the side buildings, you do come across a shed. Uh, you see someone with a wheelbarrow coming out of the shed. There is a tarp over it, so you have no idea what is in the wheelbarrow. But you are able to get a glimpse into the shed before someone else closes the door, and you see the piled up bodies of about a dozen kobolds lying in that shed. Okay. I tail the wheelbarrow guy. He goes into the main warehouse. At, you get to the point where you can't go any closer without being accosted, you know it. Because he's, he's heading past guards and things like that. You said that King's Guard left? You, you saw the King's Guard coming out of the back door, and then he does get on a carriage and run away, yes. Cool. I turn into him, and then follow the uh, wheelbarrow guy in. 
and I make myself as gruff and don't talk to me as possible as I... Okay, give me a deception. Okay. Uh, I'm also going to drink this before I do this. So, because uh, now's the time to use it. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. That's out of the inventory. Yep, okay, so you drink that first, and it's time for you to do your deception check with your plus two. Yep, and oh, you added the plus two, okay. Uh, you come up and you're just <laughs> trying to maintain this guy's persona the best you can uh it, somebody just stopped you merrick uh, you just left what are you doing back here i forgot something i'm gonna go take a look see if i can find it forgot so what no, something of mine i i dropped but it, something with my job don't worry about it it's nothing to do with us Oh, hammer. Yeah, you, you dropped. You probably lost some stupid thing belonging to that fat king. He opens. He just, uh, you see him kind of turn a key on the lock. And he's like, well, you know, hurry up in there. We're, we're starting to wind down for the night. I enter and I mentally send a message to everyone that can hear. I'm in. He's in. Hacking all music of, and, then, and then every single one of you hear Ko go, he's in. Even you, uh, Kroko, you hear Ko say that. <laughs> I ignore it. What? <laughs> Who's in? Uh, sorry, does No, uh, Kroko. No, they're thinking it. Yeah. Satari doesn't have telepathy. Yeah, I know. That's why I just... Yeah. I assume Ko just said it out loud as well, because he seems to do that yeah, with spells yeah, he and does stuff. That sometimes. <laughs> no, he, uh... You get in, and you see a... A basically repurposed pork processing plant where they are chopping up coconuts. So here's the fun thing. Um, I take a moment to myself. Uh, I pretend like I'm looking around for something and I'd use this. Beautiful. And you um... had all of the workers, but as soon as you hit play, all of the workers in unison begin singing the Darkman ballad. Well, I didn't hit play, I hit record, so... Wow, yeah. <laughs> no, um... You... It, most of what it is going to pick up is the background noises of the processing plant. Correct. Of random people just talking amongst each other. But it does pick up a quick line of, Hurry up, we gotta get this last order shipped out before morning. We're running out of the dead kobolds. We're gonna have to go find some more. I mean, I will straight up engage someone <laughs> if, if, to get some more evidence like hey uh hey guys uh, look Kuroku's wearing a wire yes and I'm in disguise that's even better oh you can re you can record up to an hour yes the only thing recorded on it is my voice saying I love you that is the only other thing recorded on this device um I feel a little less bad for you <laughs> uh but I will in Kuroko's will, let's give this recorder to Ko when I die. Uh, Aww. I'm gonna look around for whatever. Nothing. I'm just gonna act like I'm looking for yeah, something. After, after about ten minutes, a couple people do come up. Merrick, what are you doing here? The king's gonna notice you're gone. You need to get the hell out of here now. Yes, but I left something. I'm. Well, too bad. You need to get out. We're closing up in a half hour. Well, you can come all... back tomorrow and try to find it. Oh, they're all dead. It's not like they're going anywhere. What is what's wrong with you, Merrick? I'm uh, just look. I lost something. Okay. And, yeah, and we said we don't care. Like the guy's like reaching for a short sword. Well, not really reaching for, but he's putting his hand on the hilt of a sword point that's on his hip. The what is this guy dressed like? Uh, just, just, uh, biz, he has an air of casual. Okay, he has an air of authority, but do I feel like he outranks me as a Kingsguard? You 
feel like ranking doesn't matter here. They have their own hierarchy within the RPL, and you do not know where you stand. That's fair. Uh, that's that's fair. Oh, I'm gonna make a comment. Like, well, I mean, d you don't have to threaten me. I probably left it in the carriage anyway. Uh, are we? When's the next time we're meeting up? I'd, I've already forgotten. What are you talking about? You set the time. I Wait a minute. What is Merrick? What is happening here? Hold, hold still a minute. Hold still. No. Nope. And uh, he turns and he begins. He doesn't, get, for he doesn't else. get the chance. He doesn't get the chance. He needs a will save. Wow. Yeah. He failed. He crit failed. Because I was going to just give him a plus 10. So he got a 13. Well, then I would like to majorly change what he remembers about this conversation and that I came back to look for something. He helped me find it. And he was about to tell me how many kobolds they have killed and processed, roughly. He is not going to tell you total kobolds that have been killed and processed because that is not determined by GM. But he does tell you that we were able to get about 100 processed today and you know we've only got about 60 left. We're hoping to get them tomorrow but there's plans in a couple weeks to get some more. Okay. That, that's about what I thought. Well, thanks for your help. Uh, have a good night. Hey, no problem, man. Uh, quit, you know, quit losing your stuff. You, you got butterfingers there. Well, uh, uh, King's going crazy. I've been under a lot of stress lately. You know. Uh, well, I mean, as you as you know, he won't be king for long, and he just kind of slapped you on the back. I'm real glad I'm recording this. My God, <laughs> I leave. Have, having a wire in medieval times is real powerful. That is excruciatingly powerful right now. I leave trying not to crack up laughing. Yeah, I was about to say, Kuroku leaves, and the hardest part of maintaining his disguise is not laughing. So yeah, I leave. Uh, I get away as quickly as possible. You um, do. You away. Well, I mean, I also, I can't be there longer, an, longer than an hour. The, yeah. the disguise I used to impersonate him was my fox thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I leave, and I start making my way back towards... Um, you start making your way downtown? Walking yeah. fast? Faces, faces past? past. I am homebound. Well, I mean, and you can't change faces, so. Well, not not for the rest of the day. I've shot both of the uses of that today. Um, well, I, we will say that Kuroko, you do get home. Well, I, I let everybody know that I'm on my way home. That I got everything I needed. Uh, anyone uh, in the room with Ikri just hears a big sigh of relief. Uh. Astanya has been talking to you a little bit on and off about the vault itself, uh, about how excited she is, and that she did leave some supplies at the expedition site that will probably be very useful to you. Uh, but she does go retire for the night. Oh, well, good night, Astanya. We will fast forward to about one in the morning where Kuroku is arriving on the property. I assume at some point we've gone inside. <laughs> oh yeah, sure. Ikri, you're not just, you're not just gonna sit and wait for him on the couch in the living room. I mean, he said he was on his way back, and he sounded okay. not stressed at all. So yeah, I was very calm. And... You you heard through telepathy him giggling. <laughs> yeah, so I'm not I'm not that worried about it anymore. I'm going to bed. I will arrive home, and then. Um... Y'all uh, should go upstairs and get a good room. I, there's I rooms mean, upstairs? There's. Have you never yes. been upstairs, Co? There's Mr. No. Tindla said we weren't supposed to go upstairs. Those were for esteemed guests. <laughs> like Karth taking a bad yeah. bubble bath? <laughs> yes. Where is Mr. Tindla? I cannot find him. I don't know. Uh, I thought his home was in the barn or something. It's not in there. Nah, uh, this was his room. O stole Mr. Timless's room, so he went and slept on the bar. Oh, I was going to say, he moved into this, this room, and now we're taking it. This room, too. Yep. 
Um, Mr. Uh, wherever Mr. Timless is, he does tell you, you may go upstairs and find a more permanent bedroom. Although you are still guest and you do not live here, Lady wants to make that abundantly clear. Oh, is he saying that to us? Yes. Oh. Oh, um, all right. Yeah, okay, We can sure. look. You know, Carl, I don't usually sleep in beds that often. <laughs> My personal favorite is the purple one. It's also right next to the... Uh, the uh, as you as you were heading to bed, Ikri, Mr. Timless does stop you. And uh, he says, uh, I have given permissions to uh, Mr. Ko and Miss Satori that they may reside in a more comfortable room. Apparently the upstairs bedrooms are bunk beds. I just yeah, I just that. noticed that. Yeah. So yeah. y'all yeah. may want to go Feels back like downstairs. Bunk Never mind. <laughs> uh, but uh, I... Nah, the top floor is just gonna be theirs. Because these are all bunk beds, sorry. These are for their kids, eventually. But, uh, no, Mr. Tim was just there. I have given Mr. Ko and Mr. Satori a little bit more free roam of the house and told them to make themselves comfortable with the addendum of knowing that this is not their permanent residence. Although I would ask, uh, it may be best to not let Mr. Ko use the upstairs bath, uh, as last time he did so, he spilled <laughs> water all over the place, and it took forever to clean up. But, very well. I didn't take um, that long. I sensationed a lot of it away. Also, I do not uh, know uh, Mr. Cart is anymore, but I believe Mr. Cart would prefer to take his baths without a Mr. Co doing a cannonball in his bathtub. You'd be surprised. I suppose I would. Have a good night, lady. You too. I feel like I'm being talked about. I hear the ears ringing. But he doesn't have yes. ears. <laughs> My horns are ringing. <laughs> yeah, his uh, goat horns that he's been wearing is a hat. <laughs> By the way, these are really great back scratchers. Like, because it curves, you really get into it. Ah, well, good. Um, if I arrive and everyone's asleep, then I'll just wash up and go to sleep and I'll talk to them all in the morning. Ko is not asleep. I imagine Satari falls asleep at some point because of. At some point, yeah, they're probably talking a while, but. <laughs> I mean, are you in the. Are you in the living room? You stay in the bedroom? No, or actually, you he's out? out. He's sitting outside out front. Oh, well, then I would uh, engage you. Well, here you go, Ko. Where, where are you at? There you go. Ko, you're sitting in one of these chairs smoking a cigar at like 1 in the morning when yep. Kuroku walked up. Okay, we'll just get up and move towards the front here. Kuroku continues walk. Actually, Kuroku continues walking forward and just it says uh, we'll sit out here and just hops over the fence. Now the windows are right there, though. They don't want to keep anyone up. All right, I guess we're gonna talk there. It's fine. Oh, we can talk telepathy. I think that I accidentally true. deleted Mr. Timless. So make a new Mr. Timless. <laughs> Which means I lost his crossbow. His crossbow hit himself. Hey, I was about to say, I was like, he shot himself with his crossbow and got <laughs> yeeted into another dimension. Um, yeah, we can actually just telepathically talk. Uh, yep. <laughs> oh, well, sorry. This was the room I took after Code took my other one. I will find another. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> it's one in the morning. <laughs> um, so, I found a lot of information out tonight. That's good. I actually recorded all of it as well. Oh. What, magically? Uh, no, with one of the devices that we found from that other world. Or that oh. was given to me from that other world. Oh, that's cool. Do you, pl play it, do you play it back for him? No, I'll play it in the morning once we're all awake. All right. However, yeah, I just uh... uh, one thing to think on, since I know that you will be up all night thinking, as since you don't sleep as much as us. At least not tonight. 
killing the kobolds is just a small step in the plan. They're going to overthrow the king as well, or at least attempt it. Hmm. Really seems like Ray Holt's flowing part right underneath us. I think we should at least do this one kindness for the king of dismantling the organization before we leave to go hunt down whatever mysterious treasures he may use. Yeah, for the king. That's a good game. No, I mean, and for yourself and your kind, yes, but... <laughs> I mean, stopping stopping them and... You know what I'm saying. Yes. You know what I'm yeah. thinking, I mean. We'll do it for the king. Well, either way, I'm going to sleep. We'll discuss yep. this all in the morning. Yeah. I'll be there. All right, the it's the morning. Uh, Ikri is AFK. Kuroku, you wake up. You step outside of your door to see Astanya standing there holding, like, two bags and a backpack on, just standing, like, right here at your door. Um, good morning. Are we ready to go? I'm ready to go. I just need a couple of the casters among you to finish the teleportation ritual, and we'll be there real fast. Beware. Uh, the excavation site in the spine where the vault door is. Uh, I will let you talk to Ikri and Co. But we have to have breakfast first, at the very least. I... Uh, Oh, sorry. Uh, I guess uh, we should eat. Uh, I have some rations. We can eat when we get there. I carefully squeeze by her, ignoring what she's saying, because I want breakfast. <laughs> okay. She just st stands there. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Is Ikri awake? Uh, she is getting herself prepared for the day. Oh, I will wait. I was about to say, I was like... Stanya was outside here on the roof, so... Well, she's real big, so it's hard to squeeze her in here. <laughs> there. Ah, good morning, uh, mister. For breakfast today, we, we have jam, wine, cheese, Pork bacon, pork chops, and uh, uh, some new thing that I have learned called apple fritters. That sounds good. I don't know if I want wine necessarily, but I will drink it anyway. Mister, you live on a vineyard. Get used to it. I cannot argue with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that stands to make a lot of sense. Alright, well, y'all are awake. I want to say good morning. Coach just standing in front of the door. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> he's preparing his spells. Oh. <laughs> morning, Star. <sighs> so, is that all happened, didn't it? That wasn't a dream. It's all as bad as we think. <laughs> if I told you that everything's fine. Would you believe it? Mm, probably not. Yeah. I wouldn't either. I I saw that. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> uh, Ikri, you wake up and Astanya's standing right there holding a duffel bag in each arm and has a big backpack on. Are we ready to go? Um, let's get some breakfast first. Uh, that, but that, that, that's what uh, Kuroko's doing. He's having breakfast so he can go. But I also need breakfast, and you should have some too. I, I know have you're. Breakfast. I know you're. We can excited. eat when we get there. I... It, it's not going Plus, anywhere. Stop also, I don't know what an apple fritter is, or who Miss McCarthy is, but you kept trying to give me one. Oh, you should absolutely try one. And there's like pork chops and bacon and wine. Who has wine for breakfast? Yeah, they're weirdly insistent on that. Well, you do live on a vineyard. That's true. All right, are you ready to go? Let, I'm ready to go eat breakfast. She throws you in a bag of holding and then runs away. I, <laughs> I resist. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot. There's not just one roll. There's a lot of rolls involved with that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm looking through my spells. Oh, I don't know Morning, I lady. Okay. You, you actually, as you come down, you see Mr. Tim was kind of stretching on the couch. There's a pillow and a blanket that he pushes off of himself. Oh, I'm so sorry, lady. I, I must have slept in. I'm not quite used to sleeping on the couch. Why? Why were you sleeping on the couch? Well, um, Mr. Co took my old bedroom, and then I moved to another one, and then he took it last night. I, I did. I did not want to disturb ladies' guests, so I figured it best if I just sleep on the couch. And you actually, you can like, actually hear him like snapping and cracking and popping as he's standing up. It's like a sixty-something-year-old man. Uh, okay, Mr. Timless, let me let me make something very clear to you. Whatever room you had is yours, and if somebody else tries to take it, you tell them no. I, I tell them what? You tell them no, because that is your room. Very well. I... No! <laughs> um, what? Uh, all right. he, 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 turned, he turned and looked at you. I understand what you meant, lady, but that felt good. Oh, yeah, that was great. Thank you for that. <laughs> Mr. Timless actually yeah. sits down and he goes, I am sorry, lady, but I am taking the day off. And he just grabs a piece of pork chop and bites into it. That's fine. <laughs> hmm. What right. was that? I don't know. Probably upset we took his room again. Also, why, why Wait, didn't he move his? back into his room? Yeah, his other room was that room, but I don't know why he didn't stay. Atari, you look around and you see some books and a journal and some like personal belongings of Mr. Timless shoved in the corner. Oh. Y'all have never been in this room before. Y'all just took this room last night. Yeah, I know we were in the other one before, yeah. <laughs> we, we've got the bad habit of doing that. That's, that's awful. Yeah, we're just going to tell him we're going to take a specific room. I'm going to go check on Stark. Oh, all right. Don't, I'll go apologize. All right. I assume Stark's in one of these rooms. Nope, because I don't have a token for him on the map. No, I know, but I assume he's somewhere. I find. I gotta go find. He, him. he is somewhere. Uh, actually, you find him, and he tells you that he is leaving for the day. He has some business to take care of. Not going back to Rayholt, right? Oh uh, no, heading in the other direction. Okay. Just stay safe and. Uh... Let me know if you need anything. I don't think I... Uh, maybe some advice? Yeah. Um, never mind, never mind. And he just runs away. Like, actually starts running away. Ah, uh, He's so... He makes me so proud. Oh my god. Uh, uh, perception check to see if Satark actually stops and turns and goes, Father, I bought you a gift. A present from me to you. It is uh, in the living room. Oh, and then okay. he continues leaving. Thank you. By the way, has you, he been wearing that ring that I gave him? Yes. Cool. Uh, you do what? find a small package wrapped in paper, and you open it, and inside are pants. <laughs> <laughs> Makes me so proud. All right, he puts on his pants. All right, all of you are having breakfast. You don't know where Co is. He doesn't okay. need to eat, so not having breakfast. Co Co inscribes the rune from his robes onto his pants, and throws away the robes. Oh no, he's just topless. Yep. It's like anti Co now. <laughs> um, Co, well, Co comes in. Oh god, it's evil Co attack. Even has a goatee now. I don't but know. No, I think anti Co might be good. <laughs> yeah. <I'd> prove. <laughs> uh, I'm I'm curious how anti Co plays. Does he, you know, stay in the back like a wizard? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> but he's a fighter. <laughs> yeah, he's oh. a fighter that stays in the back, <laughs> but doesn't use range. Weapons. No, I don't use range weapons. Morning, so everyone. Equally, infuri equally as infuriating. What? What's up? I, 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 I mime like I'm drawing my sword. Who are you and what have you done with Ko? I got some 
I got two hours of sleep for once. No, Carl would never wear that. No. <laughs> These? No, they're from my son. Oh. He got, he got me a gift. Um. Thought I'd show him off. All that money you keep spending, you never thought to buy clothes. What? I had a rib. Yeah, barely. Yeah, it was a little combat worn, and I got rid of it, but. Look, okay. there's more important things than clothes. This is I mean, that's note. true. On that note, Kuroko produces the um, device and sets it on the table, but doesn't play it, continues eating. Um, oh, what is that? That is uh, everything that I found out last night. No, uh, we're going to finish eating before I play it, or else uh, we will lose our appetites. Okay. Guess I'll sit here patiently. That sounds important and none of my business. Have a good breakfast, lady. Ring for me if you need me. I thought you were taking the day off. off. I don't know anything other than serving. <laughs> We're, just, we're gonna have to force him to take vacation days, aren't we? No, we just don't call him today, and that will be his vacation. Fair enough. Um, once everybody is done eating, I'll hit play. Or technically, I'll wind it up and then set it to play forward. All right, Roger, play it back for us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Kuroko hits play, and you hear in Kuroko's voice, "I love you." I love you. And then it starts playing the sound from inside. That is true. That is exactly what happens. <laughs> you, you you will see Ikri visibly melt. <laughs> I don't see what okay, that does. Ikri, oh. Ikri is now dead and liquefied. Oh, yeah. that was for her. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Hey, bring in the rest of the corpses. We've got some more processing to do now. Everyone just looks really weird at Croak. <laughs> Kuroko is sipping his wine, shrugging. Nice choice of uh, recording device there. What is that thing? I just let it play out. Um, I guess we let it play. You guys are all caught up with everything that happened, including the last bit about killing the king, and then that uh, he wouldn't be a problem anymore, at least. I believe the exact words were, he won't be king for much longer. Yeah, that is um, correct. So not only did I discover their plot and what they have done and what they are planning to do, but this should be sufficient evidence as well. How many people do you know? Or, or anyone notable that you saw there? There was one guard, uh, one of the king's guard, uh, Merrick was his name. I'm Wait, really? Yeah. Yes. That's really Hey guys, uh, how was breakfast? Based um, on you. Ruined. I w I'll hand her a plate and be like, why don't you find out for yourself? Okay, can we leave? We... <sighs> patience, Estonia, patience. Leave. I... Oh, we wanted to go to the vault. I have waited for many, many years. I've had enough patience. I, I think we are so close. We are. We are. We'll get there. Are you feeling alright this morning? Any oh, effects yeah. of that just... thing? Oh, no, no. I barely slept last night with the excitement. Okay, uh, well, would it be... Would it be okay, uh, she pulls... She's, like, ruffling through some papers, and then she, like, sets a scroll down on the table. And she's like, would it be okay if all of you... I, I know you're gonna do it, but it's so much... All this patience. Could I... I hate so much to trust with people. Could I get your promises and your word that you will help me do this? Of course. She puts her hand out on the paper and she goes, all of us together? I, I put my hand on the paper with her, or on her right. hand, or however it works. Yeah, or like on her hand or whatever. Right like, now? I just, you were promising that you will help me, all of us together. And whatever treasures we find will be split. I will gain the knowledge I seek. You will gain the treasures you seek. 
There is nothing about this door that makes sense. It will require a life sacrifice, and you still all want to go through with this? Yeah, it's pretty much. Seems pretty insistent on it. Satari, you were the heart of this group. They can't do anything without you. If nothing else, they come to keep your friends safe. I... <clears throat> I will give you my word. I don't think this paper thing is necessary. Well, you see Ko, Ikri, and her with their hands out. Satari and Kroku, you stick your hand out and, like, hold all their... You know, they're doing, like, the go team hand. I do not. I don't trust the piece of paper. But well, they're, they're, no one's touching the paper. Like her hands, even a little bit above the paper. Like they're just doing the go team hand thing. It shouldn't take long to deal with this door, right? I just it has to be opened, and I w just wanted to make a pact with all of you, a promise that we will be in this equal. I I can't I can't imagine oh you know getting to the treasure of my life and it being stolen, but I know I can trust all of you and I just wanted to hear you promise. So, can I add one thing? If we're not able to open the door today, we don't need to stay there the whole day, right? If the keys don't work today, then I will need to do more research to figure out how to make them work, so yeah, sure, okay. that's fine. Alright. Then I am fine with going. It's not like I can go into town right now anyway. I need to send a couple of messages and see what I can do to help. I can will, do that in my time. Kroko will raise his wine glass in affirmation, but he doesn't put his hand in. Okay. So sorry, yeah, you put your hand in? Him. She's so she's against this from the beginning. I don't see why she. I would no. <laughs> uh, Satari, uh, for me and for Ko, he's coming. Wouldn't you? Wouldn't you want to be there for Ko? I'm gonna perception check. This some. Mm -hmm. Okay. She seems desperate and earnest, but you don't pick up on anything else. Nothing malicious is what you're saying. She keeps getting ditched. She's tired of it. That is a lot of it, Ko. People keep standing me up and things like that. Out of character, I man. Just, I wanted all of your promises that you would be there. When she says people keep standing her up, Ikri flinches. That was that character, man. <laughs> no. It's it's hard to stand her up. She's way taller than everybody else. I have done everything that I have promised. I don't see you. <sighs> Cole, do I really need to watch you un us unleash something and almost watch you die again? Nope. Well. I guess Miko and Astani get to split all the treasure, then. I do not uh, care for treasure. That I'm looking at Kuroku when I say that. This world. I'm, it is the knowledge that I seek. Whatever treasures we find are yours. I point at the recorder and I say, I literally have a King's Ransom right here. I'm good. <laughs> you know, that's a fair point. <laughs> Uh, Astanya holds her other hand out to you to reach for your hand, Satari. She goes, I thought we became friends. Please, to, if you if you change your mind, it is something we can discuss, but please. I'll keep an eye out for danger, Satari. <laughs> and I will check things before anyone touches them. I'll be cautious about this. Alright. Astanya, you promised to also let me investigate things before anything's touched. Of course, of course. You were you're the experts. I, I found the location and, and the keys and we're going to open it, you, but it will be you taking point and however the expedition is handled is up to you. And then, Kuroku, I will have you second guess everything. That's what I'm good at. Alright. So do you take her hand, Satori? Like a sigh and even a little growl, she will grab the hand. <laughs> she, she takes your hand and places it on top of everyone else's hands in the center, and she just looks at Kuroku and smiles. I sip the wine. Yep. Don't worry about him. He's like that. His hand's ethereally here. Figure she 
She, with almost lightning reflexes, reaches over and snatches Kuroku's wrist and screams out, Astra Lotum Telepotum! Every one of you vanish and reappear somewhere else. I would Damn, like I was about to grab like... Kuroku's hand and do that. <laughs> but not, you know, yell that. I was gonna just... Okay, well, you do it anyway. You both are grabbing Kuroku. Ah, that's why you needed our hands. Ah, I guess I fall nice. down because I was sitting. <laughs> yeah, and I, I mean, I do as well. Yeah, yeah we put it all in. Oh my it. god, everyone was. That's a really good point. And <laughs> now I've got wine all over my shirt and am uh, mad. No, uh, your wine doesn't spill. I'll give you that. I feel like Kuroko oh could do that. I probably would have the dexterity for that at least. Just go high enough off the ground that he can just stand. Just kind of like. <laughs> nope, yeah, pop, yeah. Everyone pops on their butt, including Estonia. Hold on. Who uh, immediately. No, land. Okay, you can do acrobatics now. But um, I don't care. She, enough. she immediately releases Kuroko and starts like scrambles through her feet and backs up, and you just see her going, "I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry." Kuroko sits up, finishes his wine, and just kind of pelts the wine glass against the wall, like over here. I'm mad uh, now. <laughs> uh, okay. I'll stand up and then what was that? The Korean That was teleportation that, magic. Yeah, that was. I can tell that much. Yeah, it makes sense why she needed her hands now. So why is this you, the place? Why do you think I avoided contact? Well, you said you were going anyway, so we would have had to do this anyway. All of you look. All of you look outside of the door, and all of you see are rolling sand dunes, and you feel the hot, dry air of a desert being blown in through the doorway across your face. I hope you have a way back, or else there's a lot of people going to die in the city. Uh, yes, uh, I can I can put that together as well. Yes, I, I wouldn't bring you here if I couldn't get you home. Well, we're here. Let's get this done. Although, sorry, um, y'all weren't y'all weren't actually supposed to be in here yet. No, uh, I, ha- I had it set up weird. Code, do you have message prepared or sending prepared? Everybody yeah. get back and pretend you didn't say this. Okay. Oh. Come back. Code, do you have sending prepared? Yeah. I need you to tell Mr. Timless to take the or Miss McCarthy, either one, and take there. Take now, the rec- now y'all can't see anything. Take the recording no. device and lock it in Petrie's bedroom. Okay. And tell them it's very important and be very careful. Yep. The sending does work and it is replied, yes, it will be locked up. Okay. Uh, Dang it, I made the request of him. I forgot. <laughs> You're bad, Wait, owners. <laughs> okay. Um, um, <laughs> everything just not. crashed for me. What happened? It shouldn't. It's just very dark for you. Oh, yeah. okay. It's me then. Yeah, I'm fine. All right. I also send a sending to Oric and ask him, well, one, see if he's fine. Two, ask him if he can try to get all the kobolds in the city. Hey, uh, no, can, no. Just, just y'all stop, please. I have been trying to describe this for a while. Just stop. Okay, I don't care who you're sending, Hammer. You can do that here in a moment. You were teleported because I, I had it placed wrong. I apologize. You were teleported into this sandstone cave. At the edge of the sandstone cave is this very large, formidable door. You are you do look out of the cave and see rolling sand dunes. You feel the hot, dry air of the desert come again, and you see the sand blowing around. Astanya is standing next to you. She apologizes and says, I, I, I found out that, well, you see, I didn't think anyone would come if I actually told them the location was in the forgotten dunes. Well, I did want to visit this place. Uh, however, I do not like the heat. So the more you lied to us about turn, this. Turn a, turn a torch on if you need to see right now, because I have y'all walled off somewhere. Uh, okay. Yes, and I am so sorry that I lied. Uh, uh, but as I said, she opens a uh, chest. It's like, I didn't tell you that... From the previous expedition, I left behind some supplies. Uh, here, here. D- d- this will obviously help you. I- I'm sure it will help you, right? I'm 
know, what is it? <laughs> that really depends, woman. What are you giving me? I'm I guess it was a good time to ditch the robes. I don't think Satari's ever been to a desert like this. It's very interesting. Satari's <laughs> probably First never been to a desert. 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 Period. Yeah, First so it's like, oh, pants. wow. You were handed six greater healing potions. Uh, hammer. Yeah, those will help. <laughs> and before you were able to actually realize, how, like, you were counting how many vials there are. She has turned and she has inserted one of the keys. She inserts a second key and she looks and goes, this, this has to be it. This, this has to be it. And she sticks her hand to it and you see life force Wait. draining. Wait, where? I like, she, I, I run towards her and grab her. You pull her off of it and she's like, oh, 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 it's stronger than I thought. I don't think I could feed it all myself. Will you help me? Yes, this that was kind of the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. You were supposed to wait for us. I, um, I guess I got excited. Teamwork, Athan. Teamwork. I have a little bit more to give, which will be less for you if you'll allow me. Okay. You better not give everything. Yeah, but in this situation I, before. Who do you think I am, Mason? Mason, that's who I think she is. <laughs> yeah. I've already had a friend sacrifice himself for me once. I'm not letting it happen again. She continues until she falls to the ground. Her skin looks dried up and withered. Her eyes look sunken in. She is still breathing and able to push herself up on her own weight. I, f I fear if I've done any more, I wouldn't still be conscious. She is yeah. drained. Yep. She is drained six. No, go, go rest. Just, just she, go, she, she's pleased. Please, she pulls a potion out and she drinks it. You see a little bit more life come back to her. It's like, oh, yes, okay, that that helped. But I have. Can, can some of you help? Yes, of course. Just, yeah, let us handle it. Just slow down, let's not yeah, Slow down. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Um. So we're we gonna do this together, guys. Real quick, how many people took potions? Oh, I would have taken at least one. I assume uh, there's enough for one each, and then we guys decide what the well, other Well, there, there was, what, six total? I think Beakery yeah. should probably have two being the front line. <laughs> well, that's however y'all want to handle it. Yeah, I can be in the front line, it just depends on what mode I want to be in. I play a lot of mode characters, <laughs> even when she switches. Alright, well, Ko has at least one. No, I guess I'll take one. What level was it again? It's greater. Greater. Okay. Yeah, 68 plus, what, 20? Alright, that's up to then. Yeah, 68 plus 20. Alright, alright, let's go ahead and pop this door open. Actually, before we head in. Message to Orc. <laughs> Orc, I I'm busy tending to the wounded. Okay. Me and a lot of the kobolds have gone underground into the sewers. Uh, Laren is showing us places to hide. Oh. Send another sending. Perfect. Stick with Laren, he'll keep you safe. Not from those dogs, though. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, uh, are you okay? You sound like you're being attacked. <laughs> I can yeah. hear the dogs. They're getting closer. <laughs> dogs of war. Alright, cool. Laren saving right. kobolds. Who, who touches the door? All right. uh, I assume Satari is going to uh, monitor us. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's the idea. Cool. Right, Wait, everyone else no. together then. Someone else touches it. A co become drained one. Yeah, I'll, I'll put my my hand on it too. Acre, you're drained one. Yep. The door's glowing and vibrating, but it is not open. Ah, uh, fine. One more for me. No. Uh, Gain another drained. I was waiting on Karoku, but okay. 
I've lived off of a drain tea for a while, so I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> like, I've been here before. <laughs> <off of this. laughs> still closed? Yep, still closed. Alright. I'm not giving any more for now. At least not till everyone else does. No, uh, I put my hand on the door. You become drained one. Mm -hmm. And you get knocked on your hammer by this force of energy that emanates out of the door. It required ten drains to open. Oh man, one from each of us would have done it. Oh. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sure would. <laughs> oh well. I, I, I took one more for Satari. Satari probably has her most epic I told you so face on ever. Oh god, she is just frowning and yeah. <laughs> that, <laughs> I mean, know. this is exactly what Igri was expecting pretty much, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the door opens. You are almost like injured by the force at which Astania runs past you. Well, slow down, Astania. What is in here? What? What is it? It's what? I don't. Where? Is this? <sighs> she sits over in the corner and starts hyperventilating. I, I, I have to calm down. I will let you do your job. You are the expedition party. I will follow. Yeah. What? This is. This is amazing. This is, we're, we're, we did it. We're in it. Yes. Yes, we are. All right. Well, it looks like a, a sealed wall. So did the doors like actually come off the hinges like this or no? No, they just okay. opened. <laughs> I'm gonna check this from over here, guys. I want to inspect this door, make sure it doesn't look like anything like looks like it's gonna close behind us. I want to make sure <laughs> the door is gone, like just gone. Oh, okay. Karuka pulls out a hand drum, taps it a few times, cast light. Are you, you doing your big light? Yep. So... Yeah, so bright. Are there any, like, markings on okay. the wall? Uh, hold on. First off, I need everyone's exploration actions. Uh, Ko. Searching. Seeking. Karuka. Um... Searching. Shatari? Search. Uh, I figured this would be a bit hammer... <laughs> kind of. That's a free action. <laughs> yeah. So all of you are searching, so all of you give me your perception checks. Okay, but like, are there any markings on the walls or none at all? What's and it? The, and the stuff in here looks ancient, like very old. But it has been more or less hermetically sealed in a very dry and arid environment, so there's not a lot of decay. So, like, what are, what are the walls and floor made of? Are they sandstone? Uh, or? Yes, sandstone. Okay. I attempt to cast Long Strider. I assume it goes off no problem. Yeah. Okay. I'm actually going to do the same thing. Uh, Kuroku? You hear what sounds like laughter coming from over here. Or at least from that door with your perception check. I didn't tell a joke. <laughs> I will press my ear to the door. You hear two people talking and a language you're not entirely familiar with, but the longer you listen, it sounds like a very old, like, like old English is to English. So old common. Basically. I point at Ko and beckon him over. And I hold my finger to my lips to everybody. I signal, I tap my ear and then point to the door. Co, give me a society check if you listen. Okay, you were you were able to basically translate old common, and you hear two two distinct voices speaking, and you hear one person uh, say, "Ah, oh, yeah, right, you hammer." I, I'm paraphrasing now into normal common of what you're translating. Ah, oh, yeah, right, you're a bonehead. Oh, what do you mean? I'm humorous. Oh, you better shut up with that nonsense. I'm just ribbing you. Oh, really? I really hope they're skeletons. Like, I really, so badly. As stupid as this is, I don't know if anybody here will get it, but my brain just is imagining that Papyrus and Sands are on the other side of that door. <laughs> yeah, I, I get that. Monster. 
Dirty Brother Killer. Alright. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're probably skeletons and they're making puns. I don't know if we want to go in there. I mean, if they're if they're speaking, then they are intelligent, which means they are possibly not hostile. We're probably guarding this place. Not very well, since the door just got I mean, blown open. They if they're making pawns, then they're in good spirits, aren't they? That's what it wants you to believe. No, they're in good humor. Uh, Humorous. Kuroku, <laughs> 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 did you actually just go, us? <laughs> yes. Amazing. Yes, that was one of the jokes they told. How did that trans... You know what, that's fine. So, do we want to check this room, or do we want to go explore the rest of this place first? Um, I mean, if they're willing to talk, they can tell us some stuff. If they come, this. if they come to this door and uh, counter Stanya, will she be okay? That's a good point. Yeah, we should probably go ahead and confront this. She does not seem in a great state to battle at the moment. All right, should I knock? Stop uh, the door. Yeah, I suppose. All right. Who knocks on the door? 